Um, the, next, the next bit is a uh, bit of information is more on a styling and a decor side of things. Um, a single duvet, a myth, a single duvet should be used on a single size bed. That sounds very logical, but it actually isn't. Um, the duvet overhang and bed configuration should be considered when sizing the duvet on a bed. I've got this table which gives down the left hand side the size of standard South African beds and across the top the size of standard South African duvets. And very simply, if you put a single bed on a single, uh, sorry, a single duvet on a single bed, you will have a 19 centimeter overhang on each side, which means that the duvet will sit on top of the bed and not even cover the mattress in many, many cases. So it's quite an important point of, point of, thing, point of view to consider, especially if you're styling or if, you, if you're decorating in a, in a guest house or in a hotel, that th if you want a luxurious look to the bedroom, make sure that there's enough overhang on the duvet to cover the mattress. I walk into many hotel rooms where, that have a single on a single or a king on a king bed, um, and, and literally the duvet sits just on top and, and, and doesn't cover the mattress at all. Um, typically, if you put a king duvet on a king, on a, on a king bed, you get 23 and a half centimeter overhang. These days, the average mattress <coughs> is, about, is, is between 25 and 30 centimeters deep. In fact, last week we made, we made bedding for a mattress that is 45 centimeters deep. Um, so it's an important factor to understand. Also understand that between a queen, a queen and a king, a queen bed, 152 centimeters wide, a king bed is 183 centimeters wide. The difference between a king and a queen duvet, however, is only in the length, not in the width. A king duvet is the same width as a queen duvet. So typically in South Africa, we use a super king duvet on a king bed.